G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Shawoodle, and welcome back to The Walking Dead in 7 Days to Die, where I'm making exceedingly brash and unthought out decisions. As we all know, sweeping decisions where you've barely considered the consequences are always the best ones, but I'm starting nice and early, because instead of just sitting up here and twiddling my thumbs until 4am when I can go out and get raiding again, I've got this tier 6 tacky boy that has so many spots for mods, but I have my mods back in my old base, so I'm going to quit jump back in my gyro and fly back home just to get some mods and just to chuck it in me gun so when I come back that suppressor especially when I come back I will have an actual usable gun and also that I'm scared to use in case it calls in all the bears so uh, let's take most of this stuff home with me as well don't need to keep this stuff out here the ammo can stay here but only the 762 thanks DD thanks for the heads up there's a couple of pelicans squawking about but I'll get out there in a tick Anything else you need to take with me? Nothing there. And that can all stay here soon. Okay, where's my gyro? Gyro's over there. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Don't think just do is always the best recipe for success and definitely not disaster. Jump on you. Please take off nice and quickly before the hordes find me. That way. That way. Up, 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 up. Over the bloody... Oh, God. Over the water tower, please. Oh, that got a little bit sketchy, but it's fine. Okay, let's get back home. It was a nice, easy, and calm flight. Oh, God, get your nose up a little bit, though. Landing on the roof might be a little bit of a challenge, and by <laughs> a little bit of a challenge, I mean a challenge that's just a little harder than I can manage. All right, I'm going to go pull around. I was just giving Dee Dee the flyover. She hasn't been here before. I have to show her the digs that we're going to spend the next little while together in. That looks a little bit better. Still not particularly great, though. Just there. That was about, in fairness, that was about as good as I could have hoped for out of that because I was not lining up very well at all. Swooped and just plonked it down as best I could. My nope. Have up yeah, mine too. Turns out there's a lot of zombies around here, but that's okay. No one's coming down the catwalk. All right, it's half past two. Where are the mods that I need? I wouldn't... Ooh. This is where you have to start making decisions, though. I do kind of want the reflex sight mod. I don't need a trigger group because I kind of like the semi-auto nature of it. Spraying and praying with that won't really help me out. What have I got in you? A two-time scope mod, a barrel extender. Actually, if I just got a suppressor out of that, that'll be the, all the four mods. And it should be about as good as gold. All right, I'll chuck you back in there. Someone's beating on ship or whatever. Suppressor, red dot sight, and purple dye. How you looking? You're looking great. I should love the buddy commando out of Black Ops. Been a little while. That'll work nicely. All right. Yeah, no, nah, I'm game. I'll change that over for like the two-time scope or the four-time scope uh, when it comes to like... Oh, actually, don't do it now. I was going to say for Horde Knight, but given I do want uh, headshots and nothing else... Yeah, no, I think I'll grab that two times and whack it on. Before I fly back again, I've got myself some extra 762s. It's going to come in handy. I'll grab my tips and... Well, I'm, oh, jeez, I'm running ahead of a lot of my ammo-making materials. How are you looking? Not great. Not a lot going on in there. Uh, might need to make myself some more casings out of that then. Chuck in some fuel. Casings. Maybe not that many. Calm down there, Jigglypuff. Let's just go like 800, I suppose. Wear that. 800 out of you. And just leave this crafting while I'm flying about in the wasteland. 22 minutes. There you are. How are you looking? You've been smelting away as well. I'll chuck some more into that. I was only coming in to get the mods, but got to do some housekeeping as well. Got to make sure my base is base shape. Put a whole bunch of regular 762 on the craft not that long ago. I can make another 300. That's another two stacks. Okay, that'll be fine. That will be fine. At least I'll have that for when I come back again later. And hopefully whatever ammo I can find out and about on the town. All right, we're ready to rock and roll. I reckon we are. Make sure you're nice and low in case I need you. You have the older scope style as well. It hasn't been updated, but that's okay. Yeah, nah, it's almost full. All right, let's get back to the wasteland. Because I need to find that sniper rifle, either schematic or weapon itself. I need it really badly. There's only one way to do that, and that's to go where the scary things are. I was hoping to try and like get a good bird's eye view of the wasteland city from up on high, but the fog has rolled in and made my visibility about the tip of me rudder pedals. I don't have a lot to see up here at all, which is not very fun. Uh, okay, I'm going to try. This is not a good idea. I'm going to try and just kind of scoot up the outskirts up here, because usually those bigger POIs are either smack bang dead center of a city. There goes the rest of my visibility. I can now barely see the tip of my schnoz. 
I know there's no big POIs in the middle of the city, so I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna try and skirt around the edges because, fingers crossed, there's like, I don't know, like something relatively big. I'm looking for like a tier three or a tier four POI out here somewhere. That's a passing gas. I don't need one of those anymore because now I've got more wheels. And I have like one of those like tactical ranges, like the, um, the Shocker Messiah places, although that's not especially high level, just a good Shocker Messiah place. I don't know. Okay, my eyes out if I see something juicy, old dot. Ooh. Dive down and have a gander at it. Speaking of something juicy, that's a Fates Motel. And Fates Motel not only has a lot of pretty decent loot boxes in it, but also is a relatively high level POI. Yeah, alright, alright, I right, reckon right, right, that's a pretty decent effort then. Let's swing the bird around and try to land on this road just here. Excuse me, everyone. It's gonna come in pretty heavy. That'll do. Yes, I'm aware that I've just got a hot dropped into the wasteland over here with cops and boomy boys all over the bloody place. I immediately hate it. I immediately hate it. I hate the wasteland. Oh, I did forget to empty out my gyro, but that's okay. Just chuck the rest of the ammo in there as well. My SMG. There are so many water balloons around here. It's not even a shade of a giggle. Uh, I don't really have a lot of options, so I'm just gonna have to kind of wing it and hope that no one finds me. I could sit out here and try and pop noggins all day, but we know that I'm a really bad shot at that, so it's not gonna work out super well. Like, for example, this one. Oh, until I scon the brim of his hat. Lovely, lovely, but hitting these Jeffries is a whole other kettle of fish. Got you, finally figured out where your noggins are. Turns out if I deprecate myself enough, I might actually hit a target or two. I'm gonna chuck my loot and specs on now and not look back and still hear the grumble and the gurgle of old man potato over there just licking the barbed wire. Not especially clever, but not a lot I can do about it. But you can see why I was so adamant about needing that suppressor. Because if I need to kill these clouds that waking everybody else up. Oh, come on. It's just, it's just loz up. Calm your farm. See, I got it covered. You're all good. Turn around, please. Turn around, please. Or just stay over there. I don't mind what you're trying. Having a suppressor means that I can actually kill these idiots from range and not worry about everything in the world coming to kill me. Because I don't like being outnumbered at the best of times. Uh, I think I just heard something bad. Something with four legs, not a lot of pelts. Anything in you? Nope, nothing helpful. And lots of teeth. Not you, dickhead. No, nope, there's all your friends as well. Oh, I... It might be okay. I don't know what that is flowering about in the shallows out there, but I was more thinking I heard a bear somewhere. Mm. Oh, God. I did hear a bear somewhere. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Fuck, I missed the motorcycle so much. Better get on that and hop, skip, and jump my way away. Fuck, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do, Josh? What's your plan of action now? I haven't got the foggiest. I can't have that bear just out and about. There's there's a lot of things I'm scared of in the way saying a bear is number one. Right through the chin. I should have got your line up actually before I did that. I can probably do it now though. Run over here. Come straight towards me. This is the entire reason I wanted to- There you go. Oh, it was the entire reason I went back and got all the mods for my bloody tacky boy because it was definitely going to save my life more than the, um... Oh, good pill. More than the bloody pistol was ever gonna. Or the SMG or any of that. It did cause a bit of a stir, though. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I don't care about the regular zombies anymore. As long as the bear is dead, I'm a smiley boy. I'm sure there's a proper way to go through this place, but I never really particularly care about that. I just want in and out as quickly as possible. Don't need loot and candy because it never works out for me anyway. I'll take you for your die in a moment. Crack a book box. Cheers, DD. Thanks for the chin up. Oh, good. Can I love? It's all good. I know I've just broke my way into a nice flash bedroom, but I didn't extend that invite to you as well. Loot and gogs are still on. Okay, bookstore box. Nothing. Damn it. Working stiffs. Oh, a tier six chainsaw. Not too shabby. And a hack to purify water. Read you. Take the tier six chainy boy. Some repair kits as well. Look, I'm never upset finding tier six good gubbins, but I really only want one thing and it's not that. Keep moving through. Check the weapons bag for nothing. Something to sell and a bipod mod. No one to really put you, but I'll take you with me anyway. No, I can't chuck it in the crossbow regardless. They're all still making ruckus out there. Just keep on moving through. Open that. G'day, g'day. Anyone waiting for me in here? 
Scrap you, anything in here. I still need like a wrench and stuff. A wrench and a hammer or forge line or whatever to make myself a workbench for back at my wasteland base. Nothing in you. Should have, damn it, should have scrapped you for the paint, but whatever. Don't think, just do keep going. I've looted all of the L Shades Motel bits. I can move through to the next area, get the old tacky boy out. If I can get a stealth shot or like a one hit kill opportunity, I will use the rifle, but. I mean, it all uses the same ammo anyway, so one bullet out of this does a little bit less damage than the rifle does. A fair bit, actually. There's two thirds of it. There's you. Drop you down. Someone's. Well, I thought it was very much close, but no, it's okay. It's all just the Muppets up the top. Shut up, DD. Don't say that. Go back to the dungeon in Skyrim if that's those lines you got to sprout. Ugh, I don't like it though. I don't like being in close quarters and confined areas. I need to be able to move to survive and I can't move around down here. I have memories of this place going very badly and coming nose to snout with a bloody zombie bear. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen to me again. Just keep your head on a swivel. Make sure no one's sneaking up behind you. Uh, yeah, they're all hiding so perfectly. So perfectly placed in this room that you can't see them from the entryway. Oh, damn it. Yep, yep, I knew it. Okay, it's fine. They're only gonna. St oh, hello, big boy. I'm only gonna stagger around for a bit until I tickle him the wrong way. You need to die, and you need to die. I said actually die, though, not just take a little kip. Set up. Gotcha. Oh, man, that lever action saved my skin more times than I cared to mention. Thank God it hit so hard. A muzzle break schematic. Interesting. I'll take you. Take those nails as well, because I do need a couple more nails to build storage. Some extra fluids. Thank you very much. Build some storage back at my wasteland base. Not as really much of a base at all, if we're being completely honest about it. Anything in you? More glue. Scrap that for the brass. Not that I really need brass right now. I've got a whole lot of it in the forge back home. Casings aren't the problem. Maybe I should be saving my lead then. But as, as always, with like the scraps of lead you find, you're better off just going mining lead for like four minutes. You'll find, holy shit, find way more than you would otherwise. That just sat him down. Let's try it again. Put his noggin right in the purple crosshairs and squeeze the trigger ever so delicately. We've got some white showing up. Shit's really starting to get serious. Fast game's good game. Finally made it up into the building and out of the dungeon of death down there. I thought someone had been here before, but no, it's just the landmines are placed in the spikes. Try and stay their dick away from that, please, Josh. You may like your chances, but it's like teabagging yourself gently down onto a landmine, generally not a great idea. Oh, oh good God, DD, you shadow scared the dick out of me. I don't know if it's going to hurt you or not, but I'm going to try it anyway. Didn't hurt you. Turns out you can't catch the bullet with your little bloody Lego hands. Anyone else around? Mm, no. Okay. I need to keep my wits about me, though. There are whites everywhere in here. Now the ominous thunderclaps as well. It might be starting to get to the point now that I might need to consider leaving my crossbow at home because I'm not really using it all that much. Like, yeah, every now and again, but out in the wasteland, would I rather have an extra inventory spot both on my hotbar and I could replace the bolts in my inventory with 7.62 rounds? I'm not really sure, but now I said it out loud, I kind of want to use you again to make you feel like you are part of the crew. Make you feel nice and include what we're getting up to out here. Loot and Gogs are still on. Check the bookcase for another muzzle break mod schematic and a large tool tank. Large tool tank? A la uh, motor tool large tank mod schematic. That's a mouthful and a half. Though no, I'll even know a thing or two about that, but not from me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the cross one needs to get left behind. I don't want to, though. I like having it just in case. Make sure we grab that weapons bag behind the painting for not a lot. And the bookcase as well for also not a lot. Just going to read the books I find I've already read. These, again, has reminded me that I have finished all the robotic books. They're only worth 125. Schematics are worth 200. That's before I start cracking all of my bonuses as well. So just not really worthwhile keeping the books on me. I know I quite often keep much less valuable things. Oh God, I hope that's a bloody, I hope that's a bloody ScoMo and not a cop or a balloon boy. Either way, not filled with a great sense of love. Quickly kill you. Get the tacky boy out just in case. Now nah, we're fine, so I can reload. All the zombies are honing in on me, and I'm scared. Oh shit! Oh god! Okay, Spider Boy came out of nowhere, clamoring to get up on me. There's two spiders here, apparently. Nope. Oh god damn it, I hate how you jiggle about all the place. 
Oh, so frustrating. I'm too focused on what's coming for me downstairs. And I've got to actually pay attention to all of the Muppets up here with me soon. Who is that? Oh, it's a copper. Okay, hold up. That wasn't it. No, giving you a tickle so you don't vomit at me. I can't. I can't see you noggin through the bulletproof bars there, mate. I just need you to sit still for me. Thank you very much. All right, who else is here then? You've all come to see me, and I love the hustle. But I'm a little busy right now to go signing foreheads. Try and stick between the blocks and make it out to where the garbage is, because I know that the ground will be safe there. Yes, yes, I know. Okay, I need to take care of that rad. Where the heck are you going, buddy? Oh, it was almost a good pill, but... Okay, maybe this isn't a great plan because I'm not good enough to hit the shots, but I am good enough to hit you. Can you all just please hold on a second? I've got bigger fish to fry. Damn, if that was a penetrating round, that would have been a double kill as well. Completely accidental. I don't think there's anyone else down there right now, so can I just go like... Jesus, hold on. Come a little bit closer. No, that's the wall. There you go. There you... Fuck! Damn it! Okay, Tacky Boy, save me, please. I'm not good enough to sort it out by myself. Oh my god, I hate this place! Tier 6 pistol and the purse in the wall. Thank you. Anything in tier 6 is always a good time. Ooh, a magnum schematic. Thank you. Scrap you and you. I am trying to hold on to the lead a little bit just to see if I'm actually focusing on keeping it. How much lead I can actually get. Pocket space is no longer an issue. Now I've got the whirly bird of deeds hanging out with me as well. That was very nice and clear. That's satisfying thwack as well. Get my spear back out though. Try and save my ammo. Just because I have a couple of stacks doesn't mean I can use it willy nilly. Still got to try and conserve what I can. There's a white in the cupboard just there. And I can't really see much else. But I can't get a stealth shot on him. Because he's perfectly placed his noggin where I can't see it. Annoying. Annoying to say the least. I might need to just drop him with a tacky then and just try and gun it as Not best. About this. Yeah, no shit Sherlock, me too. I need to land on something soft like that. Let's try that one. That'll do. Lovely. That'll do nicely. As long as you're down for the counter, really mind what else is going on in here. In fact, was it just you? It may have been. Just you and Narlene outside. Yeah, nah. And yeah, nah. All right, happy days. Let's get the loot and skedaddle. As always, I feel like it's good practice. Loot everything before we start throwing bombs about the place. Cotton seed recipe. It's worth 200. You're worth 125. I'll just read you again. But I haven't read you yet, so I may as well read you now. You've got some paint in you that I would like to use back at home. Cheers, love. I'll get to that in a sick. Uh, I should scrap you for the lead. We're only getting to see one passion. I don't really plan on making myself any extra vehicles going forward, so that's fine. Lab equipment box, scrap you, take the recog. Yeah, I already raided the bookstore box and didn't get much out of it. Nothing really in you either. All right, look, I'm not going to lie. That was a little bit disappointing in the end. I was really hoping for anything better. I can hear footsteps, so this needs to go a little bit faster, please. Hello. Yep. No, nah, you're fine. You're fine. Thank you for gurgling at me, though, so I knew you were coming. More bombs. Um, a pocket mod. Not too valuable right now, but will be later on. Rocket launcher parts and not much else. Sick tits. Alright, modify you. Cook and grab that. Scrap both of you. And everything else is all fine and dandy. Alright, cool bananas. I'll turn all that into uh, frames because they're always valuable. And it's probably time to go. All right. Yeah, nah, fair play. Let's go find the gyro and see what else is about because this place wasn't really great. I remember, I remember reading a comment saying something about how like the lake at the back was important somehow. And it, the POI does spit you out in this direction. Uh, look, I don't have a, a lot of space. So it looks relatively clear out here. So I'm going to have a bit of a scan around and see what we can come up with. Just whack a bunch of shit into you. Change you back over. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's something about like following the car. God, I wish I could remember what the comment said or who it was from. Because I've got no bleeding idea. But cars hit the deck. All right, fair enough. I hate going in the maple syrup or the water. But we're going to see what's about. There's a lot of cars down here, apparently. Ooh, is this it? I mean, it's just a weapon. I mean, just a weapons bag, but a weapons bag all the same. With four machete parts, not much. Is there more? I thought there was going to be like a bunker or something down here, which there may yet be, but weapons bag to start with, not too shabby. And not really much else. All right, get some more oxygen, please, because you're moving at about the pace of a stepped-on snail. I guess it's just a weapons bag. 
Okay, that's fine. Let's get the giant go back into the skies and see what else is around. Because I'd very much like to raid somewhere else before I go home. My loot stage out here is actually 295 while I'm in the bounds of that pair. What is it just like on the regular deck? 279. Maybe this is one of those times where a loot and candy might come in handy. In fact, there's a, another motel. Where was it? Just there. I've got to have a little scan over there and find that uh, vending machine and hopefully find a loot and candy. Because just get myself up over that 300 mark. I have no reason for thinking that that's going to be a, a watershed moment, but it's worth the crack at the very least. Should be around here. Get the tacky boy out just in case because the world is full of nightmares that want to eat me. Oh, I hate going around on foot. I hate it so much. I miss my motorcycle. You are a working one. What have you got for me? Uh, nothing particularly good, but I now know, <laughs> after lots of time playing this game, I do now know that there is another Vendo hanging out in this little side room here. So, quickly kill you. Oh, there's a big boy over there as well after <laughs> completely missed the shot on Arlene. No wonder you left me, Arles. Ow! Where the, I just looked that way. How did I miss you? I don't know, but not great by me. I see the doggo. Okay, just hold on. Hold on. You, you, and you as well, if I can actually hit you. There you go. Not great shooting, but I'm getting desperate. All right, in. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the prize, please, Josh. Nope, that one's broken. All right. Oh, but I want it. <gasps> shit, shit. Oh, I thought that was a good pill. Are you dead? You're not dead. Always check for the XP pop if you think you're going to kill something. Oh, and I'm caught in two. Okay, hold up. Hold up. So, so, he did the splits. Still not dead, though. Tell you what, man. If I did the splits like that, I'd be dead in a heartbeat. Come here so I can kill you properly. Yeah, I've definitely got myself in a pickle here. You're gone. Oh. Oh, God. And a cop up. Ah, shit. Balls, motherfucker. Um... I don't really want to do it here. I'm getting trapped. I'm not thinking. I'm panicking. I'm doing all sorts of bad things. Quickly slap on you. I'm now infected and have a laceration. God damn it. This is what happens when you go chasing loot, Josh. You end up in the bad place and not being able to hit a target to save your bleeding life. Okay. Are we all right? Oh, God. Thank God that bear didn't know I was hearing real bad pineapples. You. Piss off, please. There was a loot bag around here, so I've lost it. There it is. Grab you. Mm, nothing much. Anything in you. Nothing much. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. Gotta go the long way around back to the gyro because that bloody big ball sack over there has blocked my path. Cut through the farm and through the big ditch. All right. That wasn't good. That was not a good five minutes of my life, and I regret a lot of things. Use you to quickly stitch up my laceration. I don't have any honey stash. I haven't brought honey with me for a while, actually, which is not great foresight by me. Scrap you for the paints. Chuck it everywhere I can into you. That one needs to be undone as well. Oh, man. That was that was terrible. Just going to get back up into the air where it's significantly safer than being down on the hard stuff and see what we can find up the road a bit more. So I need quarter past four, and yes, I'm a little bit infected, but I'm hoping I have the stuff to sort that out somewhere nearby. Oh, there's a book house. There's a book house. If ever there was a time to find a book house, it was now. Right on the edge of town as well. Now, it doesn't have a particularly high loot level, which is fine. I heard a vulture. Somewhere around here. Yeah, there you are. There you are. What is my actual loot level inside the bands of POI, though? 295 again? Yeah. I Probably should have got the loot and candy for it, but too late for that now. All right, here we go, Josh. You've raided the book house a thousand times before, trying to put your experience to the test. Hit you, no one behind the bar. No wonder Arlene's having to keep it a quarter there. No one's feeding her drinks. What are you doing? Just having a nap as well, keeping at least three feet apart. Don't want to catch what Arlene's got, but it might be too late for you. Are oh, we in the right gogs? Yes, I am. Nothing in here to snack on either. Okay, fast game's good game, Josh. Keep on going. Got to check my new favorite hidden stash in the game. Could we break the back of the shower and grab you? Come on, baby. Please give me something good. What you got? Steel spear parts, military parts. Some ammo, but not uh, 762. Would be a bit of a shame. A bit of a snack. Whack you in. Could do with some fluids as well, if I'm being honest. Order some honey if you wouldn't mind. Someone's beating down the door over there, but I guess they gave up the ghost halfway through. Headlight off, please, and see what we're dealing with. That's just a feral strip of titties, so short work of you. 
Interesting. Yeah, nah, mine too, but we should be okay, I hope, if it's just this idiot. Look at you. Oh, God. Bloody glancing blows. Glancing blow the bloody zombie, not the shells. Oh, God. <laughs> he blocked up the door as well. All right, this hasn't gone especially smoothly, but we managed to arse our way out of it. Definitely more arse than class. Hang on, hang on. There's a copper coming through. Put you down. Always get time to line up that shot when they're breaking their doors, which I heckin' appreciate. I see you as well. Nice long range easy kill. You love to see it. All right, keep on going. What have you got for me? Couple of radiators. I'll scrap you. Someone's gurgling again. God, their ear sight. Ear sights? Their hearing is fan bleeding tastic. Apparently, becoming zombified just improves all of your senses. Oh, God. Hey, buddy. All right, well, ugh, I can't get you to sit still, though. That, di that didn't count as a headshot, for goodness sake. I was staring at your tonsils. I was that far down your throats. There we go. Got that one. We'll get your little friend in the background as well. Good pill. God, I like the sniper. When headshots actually do shit, this sniper is working really well for me. That's how much better it's going to be when I get the actual sniper rifle. What's the time? Almost six o'clock. Oh, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. Hello. Have you met my crossbow? Jesus, you have now. Shit's getting rowdy out there. I can hear someone around here. I'm not really... Oh, God. Especially sure where he's going to be. Found him, though. Thank you for hand delivering my package. I don't remember ordering anything off Amazon, but I appreciate it. Come on. Some more food. I'm actually not particularly hungry right now. And some ammo. I'll just take them for now and keep on pushing through. Good God. They just... I'm, I'm trying to be quiet about it, but also quick about it. That just means that everyone knows where I am. I see the green and a sudden glowing, so I'll focus on you first. I've got a bad feeling about this. Didn't die from it, though, even with the shit. Even with the stealth damage, he's still up and about. There we go. A second round to the chin, chin, chin. Definitely sorted you through, though. You need to die as well. I was going to say, someone's sneaking up on me, but we're all good. As long as I keep my ears peeled for all that rattly goodness, I'll know where they're coming from. Oh, I'm anxious. I'm anxious and scared and not at all comfortable. Anyone waiting for me in here? I thought there might be. I still would really like some honey, though. If you want to, like, leave a jar of honey out for me, I'd super appreciate it. Just making sure I'm clearing out the rest of this joint so no one's going to sneak up on me. Oh, oh, DD, it was you. For goodness sake, you flattery fuck. Just move around my peripherals. Get me all sorts of jumpy. Give me the freaking heebie-jeebies like you're Alex the Lion. Okay, I think I've got everything I need here. Let's go and get the bookshelves before I forget about it. Uh, Deeds, now that I've chastised you for doing nothing wrong, can you please hold on to whatever you can? Just grab a little bit more space for me. Turn all that into frames again. Okay, how many books? Oh, we've got, look at that. Seven bookshelves in this room and more in the next. Nothing. 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 Uh-oh. Nothing. Something. What have you got? A spear book. The great time percent slower. Thank you. We've already finished that series, but it was good to reaffirm your knowledge. Who the shit was that? I also got... Oh, it was you. Also got the bloody gyro accessory schematic, so I can now make myself a whole new gyro. Shame we didn't find that two days ago, but you know what? I'm okay with it. As long as I can fly, I don't really mind how I get there. Last couple of bookshelves in the office, or just the one bookshelf, rather. Triple storage pocket mod schematic. Thank you. I can sell you for a dollar or two later on. Oh, here comes a big bulby bastard. Hold on. Right. Oh, for goodness sake, not them. Oh, God. And now ScoMo's on the scene as well. How am I supposed to hit you when you're jangling about like a bloody Christmas order on a windy summer's day? Up you get... Not good enough. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Look, this is a slight problem. Yeah, nah, fucking mine too, DD. There you are. Wait on. Wait on. There we go. Nice and clean. I feel like what I just said there would have confused a lot of people. It's Christmas is in summer in Australia. We don't go, like, you know, hustle up under a, a fire in the snow for Christmas. We go play backyard cricket and go to the beach, which, in my opinion, is a much better way to spend the festive season. Uh, nothing in you. Come on, eat like a wrench. That's not a wrench, but it is a cooking pot. I'll scrap them for the iron. And grab an eight-time scope. 
Not fantastic, but all right, I'll just live with it, I suppose. Got a little bit of time left out of the way. DD only got like the room upstairs to go through as well. Got the ammo, got the ambition, but not the talents. This can only end well. It's pretty dark up here. I'm gonna try and get through as quick as I can. He woke up and didn't wake up all his friends, as I hope not. This might just be a tacky boy job, you know? Just push through, finger on the trigger at the ready and drop whoever... God damn it, drop wherever I can see. Or maybe it's a wake everybody up and do it the old fashioned way. Oh, I see some greeny glowy goodness though. Three shots with a tacky boy drops a rad. Noted. Not good shooting there. Oh, second Arlene. Once upon a time, it made me very bloody happy, but not in this instance. God, I thought I heard something behind me. I probably did, but the spider's got my attention right now. Come here, you funnel and fuck. There we go. Yep, we're good. No one down there. Okay, I think we're okay. Someone's groaning, but I'll deal with that later. I'm gonna break my rule, my golden rule that I have for a reason. One of those ones written in loot and blood. Well, the loot's blood, I suppose. I'm gonna quickly try and pop you open before I raid everything else. Finish it off with the pickaxe. God, I would love a tier six pickaxe with extra mods in it. I found a couple, but they weren't as good. All right, ammo pile. Not a lot. Just sheer disappointment. Medical pile. <sighs> no bloody um, anti-infection stuff, which kind of sucks. I don't need one billion splinters on me. Nor that. Uh, all right, everyone else is going to have to wait then. What's in you? Tier 6 military helmet worth a pretty penny. Court of the cob worth dick all. Take that. Yeah, sure. I'm chockers though. Deeds, can you hold on to some things? Not really much. Okay, I'll come back to that in the moment, though. We just pop open the rest of these. Come on, give me honey. Give me honey. Give me honey, you bitch. Ooh, it's here for Compy Crossbow, though, hanging out in the Savage Country box. And what was that mod it gave me, actually? A Skull Cat mod. Fair play. Blade Trap Schematic. A battery. It's a tier four. That's not super important right now. I will scrap you for the lead and everything here is done. DD's chockers. I'm chockers. I could have organized it a little bit better, but it is what it is, I suppose. No one here. I heard someone. I heard you. And bloody sword you out nice and quick. Nothing in that. Okay. We're done. There's my gyro. All before night time fell. Oh, do I have any do I have any honey back home? I really hope I brought some. About to cross 5% though. This is gonna be really close. Really, really close. There's the car park. Aim down at the deck. What have I got? 4.3. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Um, okay, that was not a great landing. And that saying something, you can just stay there for the moment before something comes for me. There's the night side, but I'm more concerned about my infection level. All the way up, really quickly. Please pass Josh have brought some honey. You did too. 4.4, that'll cure up to 5%. So we're happy, got the one honey, but it's all that I needed. How do you fucking like them apples? I am gonna need to get all the gubbins out of my gyro down there, so quickly just murder the zombies who are standing guard next to it. No sign of any bears or anything, which is my main concern, so let's go nice and quick, get the tacky boy out just in case. Move it or lose it. This shit bloody cost me big time, I'm annoyed about that one. Planted my front wheel directly into it. Just take all of it. Just take all of it. I don't have the space for the rest. DD, can you hold on to a couple of things for me, please? There we go. Grab that. Grab all of you and head back upstairs to where it's relatively safe. Man, I hate the night time in the wasteland. It's spooky as shit. I need this place to be lit up, but I don't want to... I should have grabbed one of those candles or something from somewhere as I was moving through. In fact, can I make myself a candle? Candle. Animal fat and plant fibers. I don't have any plant fibers. I mean, there's a fair... Uh, oh, hey, buddy boy. There's a fair whack of them downstairs. So I might just quickly murder you and murder you. My little sniper tower is working wonders. And go and grab a couple of little plant stems. Just make myself a candle. Candles need a wick and I intend on getting some. Just use the shovel. Whatever. Doesn't, doesn't matter. That's wood. There we go. Plant fibers and a couple more. Only need a few of them. Just to get my, my little like tower up here lit up. Without burning frames of my campfire and without having to like make myself more visible with my helmet light. Sure. Four of them, whatever, is overkill, but that's not gonna matter. I'll also make myself an extra frame out of that. Oh, even though I'm kind of safe, I'm still panicking. I actually brought home a fair bit of good gubs. There's my better compy bow. I need to load you up with a, a different bolt though. I still hate, I hate so much that it tells you the stats of the bows depending on what ammo it's using rather than just the stats of the bow. Then add the stats of the bolts on top. 
as it starts to rain. That's fine. I'll just move my way back undercover a little bit. Not that Seven Days gives two fifths of a shit about water dynamics. Okay, what are you doing then? 103. Com Holy God, compared to 80. That's an insane amount of difference. That's what a tier 6 to tier 5 should be, but we know that never actually happens. So, alright, an extra 20 points. No brainer. Give me both of you. Cheers, knackers. Wacky in this one instead. There you are. Put you down to that one. I was see the game heard me talking about potentially leaving the crossbow behind. It's like, hey, what if I gave you a real buddy Ridgey Ditch one? Well, I'm going to have to keep on bringing it then. Just going through all my armor, making sure everything is about as good as possible. We've got a shitload of mods for things. So now that I've done that, you can have that one, that one, that one, and that one. Immediately, actually, if I grab a repair kit, which will be... Somewhere around here. What the shit have I done with the repair kits? I definitely found a few. How have I lost them? Or is the drone holding on to them? Yeah, you are. There they are. Repair you and repair you just for the sake of it. And the rest of this stuff can go away. Repair that one too. In a tick. But we're going to sell the uh, tier 6 chainsaw. I'll sell the other one. But $3,500 reduce out of that. Definitely nothing to sneeze at. On second thoughts, I maybe should have saved those repair kits for repairing my actual guns. And just repaired those ones when I got back home again. But... Ah, well, whatever. You win some, you lose some, and you never learn a lesson, Liz. That's my way of doing things. $3,000 reduce. If you were loaded up with mods, that's like a $10,000 chainsaw. That is ridiculous. That's all the stuff I'm taking home with me, though. This stuff needs to go back down into my gyro tomorrow morning. It is actually trading restock day. So I might go up and have a bit of a chin wag to trade a potato up there and see what's going on. Is there anything here that tickles me fancy, though? Any POIs that look like they have potential? So far, ooh. Not particularly so good. There's another prison. I could have another prison base out in the wasteland. Why didn't I know that was there before? I would have moved into that rather than this little broken down shithole. Either way though, there's not a whole lot for me to do while I'm waiting for the sun to come back again. Been a long day. Been a long bloody day with that venture back home, but sometimes it was worth it. In fact, it's definitely worth it. And my infection is now gone, which is just the tits. Okay, tomorrow's going to be a big day then. Do you want to go see the traders? Might go see Jen as well because she made my life complete last time I saw her. I mean, even if she gives me nothing next time around, I'd still have an absolute win. I have a little scout around as well and see if there's anything else up here for me. i got to find bigger POIs. i got to risk it more to get that sniper schematic. God damn, do I want it so bloody bad though. But I'll have to come back and hopefully find that schematic in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the pages of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.